Ambush! Their numbers are overwhelming. Surrender may be our only option. No! Don't give them an inch. Your move, Captain. I'm aware of that, Mr. Spock. Damn it! Your choice was valid, Captain, but highly predictable. Predictable? Since when have I ever been predictable? That is precisely why the move was predictable, Captain. Another Captain, we have received an emergency signal from a nearby space station. Please report to the bridge at once. Shall we finish the game later, or do you concede defeat? <laughs> you should know me better than that by now, Spock. I never concede. Oscillation? That's the first thing I tried. I'm stumped. Commander? Chief? I just got the results of those scans. Good work, Ensign. On down there. The radiation from those binary stars is making communications difficult, but the station appears to be in some sort of distress. Hmm. Check off readings. They are operating on emergency power and are struggling to maintain altitude. Cause? Unknown, sir. Captain, they have issued a request for immediate evacuation. Then let's help them out. Mr. Scott, prepare transporters. I wouldn't recommend it, sir. Those stars are giving off too much interference. Unless we achieve manual lock, we might fry those little guys. And we'll get him out the old-fashioned way. Prepare my shuttle, meet me in the bay. Aye, aye, sir. Captain, in spite of your seemingly endless desire to stretch your legs, I must remind you that you are still a Starfleet captain. This is clearly a job that Mr. Scott and a few ensigns could handle. But then I'd miss all the fun. Sir, the more prudent choice would be to stay on the Enterprise and wait for a response to our hails. Oh, you're right. Lieutenant Uhura, any response to our hails? None, sir. Well, looks like I'm going. Lieutenant? You'll be careful, won't you? Caution is in my nature, Neora. I know, I know.
Mr. Sulu, do we know anything more about this station? Nothing, Commander. They're not broadcasting any identifying information. If I didn't know any better, I'd say they didn't want us to know. Hmm. Most intriguing. Mr. Chekhov, do these energy fluctuations have anything to do with the binary stars? Ah, uh, maybe, Commander, but the readings, they do not make sense. Something is very fishy here. Fishy? Earth's expression, sir. Strange, suspicious, fishy. Let us know when you have further information. Aye, sir. Captain, I must insist. You insist? You know what, Mr. Spock? A change of scenery might do you some good, Captain. You come with me. Your shuttle's ready, Captain. But do you think it's wise to go yourself? I'm sure me and some recruits could handle this. Don't worry. Scotty will be fine. Always makes me nervous when he says that. Let's get back to somewhere. Yeah. Why do we gotta go there? I don't know. Spock gets suited up. Enterprise shuttle, confirming approach at 5x6. Maintain minimal safe distance. Affirmative, Enterprise. I'm picking up high levels of radiation from two binary stars. Normal space station would have been fried by those two stars by now. What the hell are they doing out there? Captain, the station appears to be outfitted with solar collectors, but they are unlike any I have ever encountered. Mr. Sula, do you have any clue what an experimental power station would be doing out here in the middle of nowhere? Negative, Captain. Whatever they're doing, Starfleet doesn't have any record of it. Preparing for final approach. Keep the engine running, Mr. Sulu. I don't think we plan on staying on that thing for too long. I can. Officer, where is the captain of this station? This way. You must hurry. Damn it! Is this the fun you were afraid you were going to miss, Captain? Right. We need to get everyone out of here right away. Captain, we must find an alternate route. Very perceptive, Mr. Spock. Anything we need to worry about right now? The readings are off the charts, sir, but I don't think so. We'll just keep an eye on it, Mr. Chekhov. Aye, aye, sir.
Let's get him out of there. I believe the door can be hacked from this side. Please, you must be quick! I am in your debt. Formalities are unnecessary. Please proceed to the shuttle bay for immediate evacuation. Captain, I must mention that many of these crew members appear to be Vulcan. Your point? With fewer than 10,000 Vulcans remaining, I question the logic of placing them on any type of experimental power station. I question putting anybody on this thing, Mr. Spock, Vulcan or not. Agreed, sir. be a way to disable that laser. I need to shut down that laser. This station are most assuredly connected. One catastrophe at a time, Mr. Spock.
doesn't sound good. Captain, I would not advise stepping into that scanner. No other way around, Spock. Captain Kirk of the USS Enterprise, we have a shuttle ready for your evacuation. While we appreciate your assistance, our captain and many of our top scientists are trapped in the transporter room on the other side of the station. We cannot simply abandon them. Any suggestions, Mr. Spock? If we were able to reach them, Mr. Scott may then be able to obtain a manual lock on our positions. I'm afraid that may prove impossible. All interior passages are blocked. Will the suits hold up out there? With the solar shield failing, direct exposure would mean certain death. Well, I hate certain death. Spock, let's try to avoid direct exposure. Captain, I will offer whatever assistance I can over your communicator. But again, I fear that these efforts... Yeah, yeah, we get it. Certain death. Any other words of advice? Try to live long and prosper. Engage mag boots now, sir. The solar collector is failing. We must avoid direct exposure. That suit is gonna melt off your back. Get into cover, Spock. Captain, we should stay in cover until it regenerates. Got it. Wait for it. Go now. Engage mag boots now, sir. The solar collector is failing. We must avoid direct exposure. That suit is going to melt off your back. Get into cover, Spock. We should stay in cover until it regenerates. Got it. Wait for it. Go, now! Exposure our suits can handle. Take cover. Whose idea was this anyway? I believe it was yours, sir. Right.
core. We seek whatever further assistance you can provide. The only way forward is to shut down the core's rings. To do this, you will need to work together. One of you must scan the control console to stop the ring. This will allow the other person to engage the locking mechanism. Commander, I must warn you, a manual shutdown under these circumstances is highly risky. Gotcha. We should split up. I have located the control console. I believe I can scan it to stop the ring. Captain, now would be a good time to shoot the locking mechanism. Success, Captain. We must repeat the maneuver for the remaining rings. Let's find that stranded crew. Our phasers will work. Worth a shot. It works! Keep 
shooting out those vents. Our attempt was successful. Right behind those barriers. Ah, watch out! Captain, life support is now at 4% and failing. Transporter is still unable to obtain a reliable signal. Let me worry about the transporter. Just get your people ready to beam out. What are you waiting for? I was speaking to my captain. It's all right, Commander. Do as he says. Aye, Captain. Ah, Captain. I don't believe we've met. I'm uh, James Kirk, captain of the USS Enterprise. And you are? I am in need of assistance, Captain. Tomorrow? Mr. Spock, it is a relief to see you here. Tomorrow? In what way can we assist you? Our station has experienced a complete loss of power. Our transporter functions are also unreliable. There does not appear to be a safe way to beam out. There's always a way. Scotty, think you can get a lock on me? I'll try, sir. Wake-up call, Mr. Scott. I need you to work a little faster. On it, sir. We should make our way to the transporter, Captain. Oh, uh, after you. So, uh, how do you... know each other. We were classmates back on Vulcan. Just classmates? I realize this may be difficult for you to understand, Captain, but on Vulcan, relationships between the sexes do not automatically imply an intimate past. Another reason I'm glad I'm not a Vulcan. I've got manual law, Captain. Ready and waiting for transport. See? There's always a way. After you, Captain. I will not leave this vessel until my crew is safely out of danger. 
As a captain yourself, I'm sure you would do the same. I like this one. There are a few that you do not like, Captain. Prepare to energize. Thank you. There is no time to stop. No time to watch the sunset run! Are you all right, Captain? I'm definitely better now, thanks. Captain, we have a problem. <sighs> Another one? What is it, Mr. Chekhov? I... I think you need to see for yourself. Tomorrow, a simple solar flare should not have caused the loss of power to your station. Do you know the origin of your vessel's malfunction? It did not malfunction. Uh, didn't appear that way to us. That station was used to harness the energy from the binary stars. However, all of the station's primary controls were operated from a base located on a nearby planet. What planet? We are calling it New Vulcan. So it is true. Spock, as you know, after the destruction of Vulcan, we have been searching for a suitable planet to rebuild our race. New Vulcan seemed perfect. However, a project of this magnitude would have taken generations to complete. In order to speed up this process, we created a device called the Helios machine. Your station was to harness the energy from the binary stars to power the Helios machine located on New Vulcan. Precisely. Two days ago, and for some unknown reason, the power to our station was shut off. Without power, our station could not withstand the gravitational pull of the stars. What moron would shut down the machine if they knew this would happen? That moron would be Sirak. Never heard of him. Sirak is Tamar's father, and a great mentor to myself and the Vulcan people. Uh, sorry? Why would Sirak shut down power to your station? 
He must have been aware that doing so would be catastrophic for you and your crew. Unfortunately, the Helios machine may have caused an anomaly. An anomaly? This just keeps getting better. We need to get to the bridge. Chekhov, tell me something. It is highly unusual, sir, but I believe it's some kind of rip in the actual fabric of space. Like a wormhole? Something like that, sir. It appears to be a shortcut through space. Where does it lead? There is no way to know for sure, Commander. I believe that rip is the reason my father ordered the Helios machine to be shut down. Then we need to talk to him right away. Lieutenant Ahura Hail New Vulcan. Aye, Captain. It is no use, Captain. We lost communication with them when the Helios machine was shut down. Captain, scans indicate the reap is contracting. At the current rate, it will be gone in approximately 12 hours. Good. The fewer anomalies we have to deal with, the better. Captain, no response to our hails. Mr. Sula, bring us in range of New Vulcan. We're going down there. I must request permission to join you, Captain. Spock, are you sure that's within protocol? I mean, maybe we should just send Scotty and some recruits. Captain, I hope the importance of New Vulcan is not lost on you. Our people cannot afford another tragedy. This planet is the best hope for our race to prosper. Noted. Then you should also note that having a Vulcan as a member of your away team would be essential to the success of this mission. And I am the only one on this ship that has ever been on the surface of New Vulcan or has experience with the Helios all machine. All right, all right, all right. Great. Now there's two of you guys drive me nuts. Transport ready, Captain. My phaser, Mr. Scott. I've pitched some wee modifications on it just like you asked. But I've been working on some other options too. I've got phase cannons, photon disruptors, and wait till I show you these plasma rifles. Still working out a few things. My phaser will do, Mr. Scott. I guess you don't want to hear about the stasis grenades, then. Nasty little buggers. But if you want your phaser, here's your phaser. Energize. Any further out and I'd be back in Iowa, Mr. Scott. Sorry, sir. Too much interference. I had to drop you outside. Kind of quiet around here. Is that normal tomorrow? Negative, Captain. For some reason, the highest security protocols have been enabled on this door. Can you hack it? Possibly, but you will have to work together to beat the encryption.
Captain, the system seemed to have been purposely shut down. I can provide assistance. Tamar, can you operate all the systems from here? Yes, I helped build and design... Captain, if you are implying that I should stay behind... Tamar, we may need your technical assistance should things get... Unfriendly? Unpredictable. But my father... When we find him, you'll be the first to know. I will remain in constant contact. Thank you. Captain, shall we proceed? After you. I believe we have a problem. Really? But you can't make that jump. It is highly doubtful that either of us can cross unharmed. <sighs> I believe we have a problem. Really? But you can't make that jump. It is highly doubtful that either of us can cross unharmed. I believe we have a problem. Really? But you can't make that jump. It is highly doubtful that either of us can cross unharmed. They are dead, Captain. See that? I did. I wasn't right in the head. I understand that our lives were at risk, but we must endeavor not to use lethal force. Agreed. We both need to use stun from this point on. I think he's been poisoned. Scans show numerous toxins in the adrenal glands and bloodstream.
rather disturbed individual. We gotta take him out, but remember, stun only. I would not have it any other way. Another disturbed individual. We gotta take him out, but remember, stun only. Another disturbed individual. We gotta take him out, but remember, stun only. I would not have it any other way. Is someone there? Who is that? This door is locked tight. We need a code. A mind meld may be our only chance to find out what has happened. Are you sure you want to touch that guy? A mind meld is our only option. Anything? I have never encountered this before. His mind has been corrupted. Also, I now know the code to that door. Enterprise, we have injured. Prepare to transport. Aye, sir. Everything all right? Yeah, just some Vulcan problems. So, the usual. Detecting several Vulcans behind this door, but their readings are erratic. May I suggest setting our phasers to stun? After all, they are Vulcans. You should have escaped! Please do not harm me! Stop before I harm you! Any further out and I'd be back in Iowa, Mr. Scott. Sorry, sir. Too much interference. I had to drop you outside. Kind of quiet around here. Is that normal tomorrow? Negative, Captain. For some reason, the highest security protocols have been enabled on this door. Can we hack it? Possibly, but you will have to work together to beat the encryption. We can defeat this system, but only if we work together. Captain, I need your... Door's locked. We'll have to override manually.
This is a more complex security protocol, but together we may be able to defeat it. It will take our combined efforts to crack this system. Take our combined efforts to crack this system. further out and I'd be back in Iowa, Mr. Scott. Sorry, sir. Too much interference. I had to drop you outside. Kind of quiet around here. Is that normal tomorrow? Negative, Captain. For some reason, the highest security protocols have been enabled on this door. Can we hack it? Possibly, but you will have to work together to beat the encryption. Captain, the system seemed to have been purposely shut down. I can provide assistance. Tamar, can you operate all the systems from here? Yes, I helped build and design. Captain, if you are implying that I should stay behind. Tamar, we may need your technical assistance should things get unfriendly, unpredictable. But my father. When we find him, you'll be the first to know. I will remain in constant contact. Thank you. Captain, shall we proceed? After you. I believe we have a problem. Really? But you can't make that jump. They are dead, Captain. are inconclusive. Very comforting.
did. I wasn't right in the head. I am relieved we were able to spare that individual's life. Me too. Let's keep it that way. Stun only from this point out. we were able to spare that individual's life. Me too, let's keep it that way. Stun only from this point out. Another disturbed individual. We gotta take him out, but remember, stun only. I would not have it any other way. Keep hiding! Your symbol is someone there? Are you sure you want to touch that guy? A mind meld is our only option. Anything? I have never encountered this before. His mind has been corrupted. Also, I now know the code to that door. Enterprise, we have injured. Prepare to transport. Aye, sir. Everything all right? Yeah, just some Vulcan problems. So, the usual. Captain, I am detecting several Vulcans behind this door, but their readings are erratic. May I suggest setting our phasers to stun? After all, they are Vulcans. I hope you have... <laughs> Ah, it is forcing me to do this! Let's find this Chirac guy and get the hell out of here. Officer. Quickly. Come in. Interesting.
Osa Vensu. Spock. Sirak, I am relieved to see you unharmed. This is my commanding officer, Captain Kirk. Captain, this is Sirak. Pleasure. And Tamar? I am here, Father. Tamar, I am pleased to hear your voice. Now, what the hell is going on down there? We have been attacked. Creatures of an unknown origin. They emerged from the rip not long after it appeared. What creatures? We have only been able to decipher that they call themselves the Gorn. Spock, we cannot allow the power of the Helios machine to fall into their hands. It would be catastrophic. How would they be after the machine? They could use it to create rips anywhere in the universe. They would be able to attack without warning. Where's the machine now? Further underground, in the colony's deepest labs. I have secured all entries into the lab to prevent the device from falling into hostile hands. Tamar, are you able to provide additional assistance? I can open the fire door that leads further into the labs. After that point, I will no longer be able to assist them. Your guidance is all we ask. Then I advise caution. There are... There are likely to be more infected Vulcans up ahead. Got it. <laughs> 